Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, I'm Michael Burke, your facilitator for this session. Um, for the Brits amongst us, if you don't know already, Bradley Wiggins uh, won a gold medal. Yay. Two gold medals in one day. We won't know ourselves. Um, in Thank you for coming to this session. In tough economic times, it's more important than ever for young people not only actually to learn skills and get a good education, but also to understand enterprise and how to put those skills into action. Uh, to quote Leonardo uh, da Vinci, people of accomplishment rarely sit back and let things happen to them. They go out and happen to things. I've been impressed to see uh, how our universities are supporting young people who want to develop a new business and I'm delighted to be chairing, facilitating this grand final of the National University Entrepreneur 2012 competition which couldn't be a more fitting final session uh, to this summit. Before I tell you a bit more about the competition itself, uh, let me introduce uh, the rest of the panel today which brings a fearsome combination of experience and entrepreneurial nous to this session. Uh, our dragons, in fact, with us today. Uh, and when I introduce them, can they come up uh, here and take uh, their place uh, up here on the ranks of the panel? Uh, first up is uh, Doug Richards. Richard, I should say. Come on up, Doug. Uh, a successful entrepreneur with over 20 years' experience, especially in technology and software ventures, and may be known to many of you from his appearances on BBC's Dragon's Den, hence the other references. When not uh, building and flogging companies, Doug has also found time to found the School for Startups to chair the Conservative Party's Small Business Task Force and to teach thousands of young entrepreneurs in face-to-face -face and online classes across the United Kingdom. Among the many awards that Doug was the first American to receive the Queen's Award for Enterprise Promotion and in 2010 was awarded Enterprise Educator of the Year. Professor Alan Barrell, come on up, uh, Alan, if you would, uh, has spent almost 30 years in senior executive positions in technology-based industries and has become one of Cambridge University's most articulate promoters of entrepreneurship. Among many roles, he's visiting professor at the Jiamin uh, University and the Shanghai College of Science and Technology. He chairs the East of England NHS Strategic Innovations Council. He's also a member of the investor groups Cambridge Angels and Sophia Business Angels and works closely with a number of science parks and innovation centres in Cambridge and overseas. I hardly know how he has time to breathe in amongst all those other things. Emma Jones, step up, Emma, please, if you would, is a small business expert and uh, founder of home business support website Enterprise Nation. Since launching in 2006, the website has built a regular readership of more than 250,000 people. In March 2011, Emma also helped co-found Startup Britain, which is a national campaign to encourage more people to start and grow a business. The campaign has toured the UK with entrepreneurs and with experts, launched special projects such as Startup Loans and Startup High Street, and had a critical role to play in record results of people becoming their own boss. Emma is also an entrepreneur in her own right, of course, Following a career with an international accountancy firm, Emma started her first business at the age of 27 and successfully sold it just 15 months after launch. So that's Emma. Last but not least is uh, David Frost. David, uh, come on up. Um, Executive Chairman of the National Centre for Entrepreneurship in Education. He's also Chairman of the Studio Schools Trust and Chairman of the National Network of Local Enterprise Partnerships. The thread that runs through his work is a keen interest, as you can see, in the promotion of enterprise, particularly in those communities where a rebalancing of the economy is essential, where an enterprise culture uh, needs stimulating. Before all those activities, David was Director General of the British Chambers of Commerce, where his role was to represent the interests of 100,000 businesses in the United Kingdom and 55 accredited Chambers of Commerce. Please give a warm welcome to our very distinguished panel. A desire to empower the next generation to help themselves, the economy and society in general is at the heart of the education and skills sector and it's also at the heart of the National University Entrepreneur 2012 competition. The competition was the brainchild of the training gateway at the University of York with the support of UK Trade and Investment the National Centre for Entrepreneurship in Education and PureNet. And it's a celebration of the entrepreneurship of young people in the UK inspired by the London 2012 Olympics. 
Every UK university has been invited to submit two business plans based around the opportunities created by London 2012. We're looking for workable, original and sustainable business ideas that could have a global impact. The students disappoint, I have to tell you, didn't disappoint, I have to tell you. <laughs> oh wow. Even among the runners-up, now, get a load of this, even amongst the runners-up, we have an app that makes ordering taxis quicker and safer, a bespoke furniture designer who used only reclaimed and sustainable materials, and a way to enable event goers, such as uh, ourselves, to take and share photographs with each other. After all the heats, uh, the four contestants you'll see today are worthy finalists. Um, we'll uh, present our panel of, of, of dragons here uh, for a chance to win prizes from our six sponsors including business support, market research and cash. Thanks to our sponsors who are listed, uh, or will be listed up there and are certainly listed in your programme. Uh, you and the audience will have a big say on who wins. After hearing all the pitches, you'll hear them of course, you'll be able to vote for a winner using the fabulous Promethean device that you're either holding or you've just left under your chair, but please grab it. So, uh, without any more ado, uh, I'm going to ask each dragon to introduce themselves and say a little, a very little dragon, please, uh, about why they're here today. Um, Doug, start with you. Sure. Hello. My name is Doug Richard. Um, I'm best known for that, my smallest accomplishment, which is appearing on Dragon's Den. Uh, what I'm most proud of is School for Startups. It's a social enterprise I started four years ago. We teach entrepreneurship around the world. Our most recent program, we've just started School for Startups Nigeria which is bringing 1,250 new entrepreneurs into the world. Thank you. Hi, I'm Alan Barrell. I'm from Cambridge. Uh, when I'm there, uh, someone told me recently that you are a pracademic, which made me feel unhealthy and wanting to look for a physician. But I'm a businessman who has become very involved in education, a scientist uh, who um, is now very much involved in helping young entrepreneurs to see their way through. I'm the chairman of the National Association of College and University Entrepreneurs and the chairman of the International Consortium of University Entrepreneurs and working with the Global Youth Development Organization. I'm very much involved in healthcare. I'm on the board of five early stage companies in which I put money, so I'm very, very interested in the next generation of entrepreneurs. That's where I'm going. Emma. Uh, thank you very much, Michael. I don't know how nervous I should feel that I am surrounded by dragons and now someone who's just referred to himself as a crackademic. So I kind of feel like, oh my goodness, uh, get me out of here. But you guys are the ones who are pitching who look a little bit more nervous than me. Uh, so I'm delighted to be here. My name is Emma Jones, as Michael mentioned. Uh, I think I'm probably here in my capacity as one of the co-founders of Startup Britain. Uh, I hope you do follow the campaign. We're 15 months old. We are similarly backed by private sector sponsors, so uh, we do not take any taxpayers' money, but hopefully we have played a critical role in encouraging startups. Uh, literally, in the past two weeks, we've launched something called Startup High Street, where we're taking on empty shops and filling them with small businesses. So if anyone's got anything retail to sell, you might want to come into our pop-up. Uh, we have very of interest to students, just launched something called Beer Mat Entrepreneur. So we've got 10,000 beer mats going into pubs around the UK where you can write your business idea on the back of it. And we're looking for the most enterprising pub. Uh, Michael mentioned we've just helped launch Startup Loans. Again, very relevant for this audience. Uh, so it's loans to anyone under the age of 25 who wants to start a business, which makes me feel desperately old because I'm 15 years beyond qualifying. So huge amounts of things going on for young people to start a business. I absolutely endorse all of it. Uh, so delighted to be here and look forward to your pitching. Lastly, David. Uh, well, the reason I'm here um, is because we need to get some growth kick-started into this economy. Uh, the businesses of the future will be the businesses that are knowledge-based. It's going to be higher education and further education that uh, drives it, and the students that are here today are going to become the business leaders of the future. They will be the people that get growth moving. OK, panel, thanks very much indeed. Dragons, thank you very much indeed. It's now time for our nerve-wracking bit, this, isn't it? Now time for our first competitor. Um, first, I ought to remind everybody that each competitor has a strict three-minute limit for their pitch, which is savage. 
isn't it? But actually, concision is the secret to all these things. Followed by a few minutes for questioning by the dragons. By a few minutes, that's five minutes for the dragons, and I'm in uh, to question each uh, candidate. Uh, and I will be ruthless about that uh, and move on.